What's up, you guys? My name is Mary. I'm with High Priestess Intuition. Welcome, my current subscribers, and welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my channel and you enjoy my content, you can smash this up and be notified for future readings. This is free general collective reading for all signs. Cut through side to everybody in between. Don't forget basics. Time is fluid. Energy is fluid. If it doesn't apply, that apply. Everyone has free will. Only take the messages that resonate. Leave the rest. Free general collective reading. Love you guys. I'm about to turn the light on. I'll be right back. Okay, so sorry. Okay, so, um, yeah, I got like some snot going on, man. Just saying. This is 1030 of 2022, 524 p.m. I hope everybody's doing fantastical. Just saying, just saying, just saying. All right, we're going to do the damn thing. All right, so the channel message I received, well, of course, only take the messages that resonate, leave the rest. Just saying, just saying. Okay. Um. The channel message I received was, there has been lots of gossip and rumors about a office building being severely haunted. Um, but I heard uh, somebody that works in this office building, I heard it is very old structure. Um, so very old structure. Um, built in the 1800s. Built in the 1800s is what I just heard. Oh, it is old. It's old as hell. It was built in the 1800s. One was built early 1900s. Okay, so there's two of them. One was built early 1800s and one was built early 1900s. You plug it in how it resonates. But very old structures regardless because we're 2022, man. One was built in the 1800s. One was built early 1900s. So old as hell. And that's just the truth. They were old as hell regardless. And they're office buildings, it sounds like. But I heard there's been lots of gossip and rumors that they have been haunted. Um, but um, soon are about to realize that is the case. About to get freaked the hell out. Employees of this office building. Oh my God, whoa. There's about to be hauntings in office buildings. Fr friendly ghosts. But it's about to freak the hell out of everybody. Friendly ghost. Okay. Well, we got Casper going on in this bitch. We got Casper going on in this bitch, baby. Just saying, just saying. Well, that's good. Because, you know, the ones, the angry grandmother spirit is not Casper the friendly ghost. She's out for some, um, she's out for some blood, literally. And I don't blame her because if that was me and the inher my inheritance that I was um, handing down to my kid or kids, which would be my two kids, and I was watching on the other end of the spiritual round, watching it going to somebody else. I'd be, um, I'd be carry the creepy ghost, carry the killer ghost, and I'm just being for real. So I don't blame that uh, angry grandmother spirit, and that's just damn true. I don't blame them going all carry on their asses. This isn't uh, a ghost going carry on their asses, is what I'm trying to say. This is like Casper, the friendly ghost. So dust out. Little Casper. Oh, well, I want to be friends. But I want, I want, I want to show you the spiritual realm. But you're so 3D, you get freaked out by my ass. Oh, that kind of shit. So, um, but it's two different office buildings. One uh, sounds like it was built in the 1800s, one early 1900s. So, still, you know, very old structures. And, um, Heard us about to freak the hell out of um, some office uh, people that work in these office buildings, whether it's a, eight, a building in the 1800s or a building that was built early 1900s. About to freak the hell out of them. <laughs> about to freak the hell out of them. Well, but this is Casper, though. We're not talking about Carrie, the creepy ghost. We're talking about Casper, the friendly ghost, you guys. I think for one of you guys, you're about to um, experience Casper, the friendly ghost. It's just Casper. We're not talking about Carrie. If anybody needs to hear this, we're talking about Casper, not Carrie. There's a huge difference between Casper the friendly ghost and Carrie the killer ghost, i.e. the angry grandmother spirit. If anybody needs to hear that shit, there's a huge difference. But I heard it's about to freak you out. It's about to freak you out in a huge way. So whoever you are, you work in an office building setting, whether the building was built in the 1800s or early 1900s.
Let me see if I hear anything else and then I'm going to close it, okay? Doors are about to start opening and closing unexpectedly. Lights are about to come start coming on and off unexpectedly. It's about to give many people in this office building a huge wake-up call. But this is really is a friendly ghost. Doors are about to start opening unexpectedly. And lights are about to come start flickering on and off unexpectedly. But I heard it really is a friendly ghost. So whoever you guys are... It doesn't sound like it's happened yet if this resonates for you. You work in office settings, um, whether it's a building that was built in the 1800s or one that was built early 1900s. L lights are going to start flickering. Doors are going to start opening unexpectedly. You guys, okay. Greenby doesn't know. I had to deal with the Secret 7 situation. And the Secret 7 situation was some dark-ass hoodoo voodoo, dark priests, dark high priest of shit. That was some serious dark shit i had to deal with in my house now is it in here anymore fuck no it's not but it used to be in my own house i paid mortgage and rent for and not not rent but mortgage for every month somebody brought that shit in my house unauthorized i might add and i was still paying mortgage on my shit without my consent it's not like carrie the creepy shit like the Secret 7 shit is what I'm trying to say, you guys. It's some doors opening unexpectedly. It's um, lights flickering on and off. It's not somebody trying to possess your damn kids or um, MK Ultra style people or get into people's brains or um, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And, you know, just saying, just saying, okay? So it's just some doors opening. It's just some lights flickering. It's just people from the other end, you guys. Listen, I used to work, my very first, I'll, I'm going to tell the story and then I'm going to close it. The very first job I worked at was a nursing home. Very first RN job back in 2014. I worked at a nursing home here in Huntsville as a night supervisor. I was an RN night supervisor. That's the old Crestwood, for anybody doesn't know, in Huntsville. If you watch and you live in Huntsville, Alabama, that's the old Crestwood. That nursing home is for anybody doesn't know. It's the old Crestwood. And um, they said it was haunted. That bitch was haunted. It was haunted. I worked there about a year and a half. That bitch was definitely haunted. But we all made friends with Casper. We made friends with Casper. And did I ever go up in the top in that second story? Fuck no, I didn't. Now, pe other people did. I wasn't taking that chance. And that's just the truth. But um, it was very haunted. But I made friends with the residents, and I made friends with the ghosts. You got some doors opening. You got some lights flickering. It, it happens is what I'm trying to say, okay? I don't know why I got this, but it is. I think one of you guys, about, I heard one of you guys about to get very freaked out about that. But I'll tell you from somebody that had to deal with heavy dark arts, i.e. the secret seven shit that happened years ago to me and my kids. It ain't nothing like that shit. That shit was some serious black magic, hoodoo, voodoo, dark arts, witchcraft. You're dealing with some friendly friendly spirits. That ain't shit. It ain't shit. If anybody needs to hear that. I would, I'd be waving to their asses. And that's just the truth. Make friends with them. I heard they're friendly. Well, you know, at least you don't have angry ass demons and spirits and shit coming in here. And you had to make friends with those. I'm just saying. All right, I'm closing it out. Love you guys. Namaste.